Let's watch what these two do to each other in the starting line. It is nearly criminal. They are trained professionals. Watch this. A 33 light for Ashley, and the stripe is Justin Ashley. 371-3, 330 miles an hour. Austin Brock was 54 in the tree, goes 376-2 at 327. It is hateful, it is scary, it is <laughs> it is everything you, your mom ever told you to be afraid of about top fuel drag racing. Justin Ashley just told me it's more like relief. Well, you know what? This guy just won back-to-back -back national event titles. He's won a mission challenge along the way, 10 straight rounds. You've got the number one qualifier car coming this weekend. You slept every, swept everything and deadly on the tree as usual. How are you able to stay so composed all throughout race weekend? Well, it becomes much easier when you have the kind of team that we do. I'll tell you that much. It really takes an entire team effort start to finish, not only on the race weekends, but during the week, and I mean on and off the racetrack, this car has been on absolute rails. I think it's 10 straight wind lights. And one thing I've learned is that's one wind light that you just you never get sick of looking at. So just really proud of our guys all day long. We brought the smarts to this Phillips Connect smart trailer technology team. For everybody at National Debt Relief, Toyota, Kato, Mac Tools, Lucas Oil, Impact, all the guys that do such a wonderful job of supporting us. Merlin Solar, you guys brought out the good luck this weekend. We are really going to enjoy this one. Yeah, right there you can see him way to the inside. But again, the reason they're pulled in there is some of the pro stock cars, some of the other cars that launch off the starting line, they could lift up the rubber. So there's a reason he's moved in there. And off they go, down the next strip. Oh, man, it's camps up by the center line, and it's Hagen navigating the right lane. 396.7 at 328 miles an hour. We saw Ron's car push to that inside area, and Tony Stewart celebrating with his funny car team for the second time in three races. With bracket-like consistency and an 032 reaction time, a leaner, meaner Matt Hagen is going to be able to hoist a Wally here. You in the offseason put in some extra work a lot of people aren't aware of. We talk in the offseason, and you've lost a lot of weight to try and help this team out, make yourself better. Explain to the folks at home how important that is to you. Yeah, just in the gym every day, I'm down 20 pounds from the end of last year, you know, and it's just, it takes that, you know, mentally and physically. You, have, you try to give everything you can to your team, but for this Stuart Haas Dodge, I tell you what, man, we uh, it's running, and Dickie Venables and my crew guys, they're the only reason reason that we were able to turn four wind lights on like this in tricky track conditions. But uh, I just can't say enough about Tony Stewart and TSR and all the group that he puts around us and the parts and pieces. But uh, this is for Stewart Haas. Woo! The Pro Stock Final here at these 2023 Lucas Oil Winter Nationals. Here we go again, Tony. No, Dallas went in. It is Hartford with a hundredth of an advantage at the eighth mile. It is Hartford with half a car length at the stripe. It is going to be Dallas Glenn. 654 6, 209. Hartford had him by the eighth mile, but Glenn drove around him. 655 8 at 210. Dallas Glenn collects the victory here. It is Glenn. Picking up his second final round, actually, at this place in 2010. He went the final round in stock here, and he picks up another victory. Glenn adds to the column. Dallas Glenn, I don't know where you pulled that performance out, but you found what you needed for three thousandths margin of victory down there. Dallas, how tight was it from your set, sitting point? Oh, I know. I looked over, and he was right there, and I knew he's been outrunning me down the back, so I knew it was tight. It uh, got real loose on me from a 1,000 foot on. I don't know how he felt, but loose. nice job, dude. Good job, nice job. Oh, it, uh, Feels really good. I've never won here at Pomona. I've been in the final round once in stock. I've got uh, the Whiteleys are here running. I've got uh, Ken and Judy Blacker here. We're going to see the, all the Rad Torque people from Rad Torque Systems and Silver State here at the next one. Jim Greenlee from Summit is here. So this feels awesome right away from Corey Mack. Twig walks away from Tim Boychuk, the Canadian in the left lane, the Corona California native in the right lane. Final round in the Legends Nitro Funny Car. Driving over towards the wall. Look at this. Finish line. Corey Mack got him. 486.8. 232 miles per hour. And Corey McLenathan is back in the winner's circle in an out burger Pomona drag strip. And he does it in a funny car. He had the best car. He's only made one run that wasn't five point something teen. And that one run was a 5.20. If he does that again, I'm not sure Joey's got enough for him. But these two have a tendency to push each other sometimes over the edge. 
and Sean Cowie, who has been perfect all weekend, smokes the tires, and Joey Severance, 525, 272 miles an hour from the number 15 qualifying spot to the winner circle. And an extra fist pump from Dad. Get Gordon pumped up to try to win the trophy. Westerfield left out of Fullerton. Gordon Wright down for Paso Robles. One time, one run for one trophy. The Lucas Oil Winter Nationals. Finish line. Gordon, look at the numbers. 544 beats a 545. Doug Gordon with a psychic in an alcohol funny car. 023 reaction time. Shane Westerfield was right there at 050. Shane Westerfield runs a 545. Weldon, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. If I'm McClay, let go of the button and then duck and cover because you know what's coming. For the trophy and competition eliminator, we're ready. And we're both green. Scott's a long way down there. Here comes Moek and got him. First national event win, 635. 220 miles an hour, and he wins it by three thousandths of it. Easy to do, but he's done it before. He's already got one in the bank. Can he now focus and take care of business against the Thunderbird? Len Snyder off and away on the green. Anthony on the chase. Ford out in front. Pontiac closing in. Here comes the finish line in three, two, one. Double up. McClanahan left, former world champion. Rizzoli right, multiple time division champion. They've both seen every trick of the trade. They're ready. Both drivers away on the green. Rizzoli out in front. McClanahan pulling up alongside. Finish line. 10.26 for the win, give it to Rizzoli. Rizzoli last week got beat by a 002. Is about to win their first. Green. Throttle stops doing their thing. Now you gotta make a choice at the finish line stripe. And Jessica chose wisely. Look at the math. 8.928 times two. Both drivers run exactly the same, 8.928. After round number one, based on performance. When they put him on the ladder after round number one, Val Torres was number one, Marco Parabolaris was number two. And they fought their way here. Both of them get away on a green. Throttle stop for a long time. That's how you adjust your car to hit the target. Who took the better shot? 8.91. Beats 892, Marco Paravillar's double 044. With a 565 inch big block. Handicap, gonna go to the left lane as Lance Abbott is predicting 693. Chris is predicting 665. Right trailers making it happen for our top sportsman competitors as Lance tries to book in his world finals win a year ago with a Lucas Oil Winter Nationals win here today. And Chris Newman trying to make sure that trophy stays in California. Ready to go. Both drivers away on the green. Lance out in front. Can he hold off the Camaro to the finish line? He breaks out 665. Chris Newman for the win. 208 miles an hour. Lance Abbott got there first by two hun, runs too quick. National sponsor for the category. We appreciate everything that Michael Scott and his team does. Anthony and Andy, both purging the nitrous. Both pulling forward. Both have been here before. Anthony a little bit more regularly since he is racing today in his 48th and 49th NHRA final round. 
They both get away on the green. Anthony left, Andy right. Watch for the wind line top of the scoreboard. Give it to Bertozzi. Six, six, six. 181 the speed. Anthony goes 642 at 201. Andy went down there, looked like he may have just dropped sure in. Sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest in drag racing content and some awesome old school races. Make sure you check out the Competition Plus Power Hour with the Monday morning racer Lee Craft and Slammin' Sammy Smith every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter channels. It's easy to stay in the know. Download the CompetitionPlus.com mobile app. Sign up for push notifications to get notified of breaking news and the latest feature stories and videos. It's a free download at the iTunes Store and Google Play.